So, hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, so we are here at the Concord Colonial Inn. So much history. Um, we're going to be doing the Dining with the Dead event, and then we're going to do some investigating after for you guys to mm -hmm. see. Um, we're going to visit some historical sites as well. Yeah. This place is, we've, Sue's been so excited, she's been dying to come here for the longest oh, time. Okay. We're actually in room 27, which was the morgue. The morgue. Um, we may not stay the night because we've got a bad blizzard coming in early morning, hour and a half drive home, so I don't know how that's going to go. But I just want to give you guys a little history on this building. So it was originally three buildings, and then at some point they all got put together. Mm -hmm. um, so what happened was they were using this building to store ammunition during the Revolutionary War. Then the British came to seize the, seize the ammunition. Um, so there was a big fight. They went down the street to the North Bridge, which we're going to take you guys to as well. Um, and they had a huge battle. And of course, they didn't get their ammunition. So no. um, militia stepped up and stopped the British, and uh, they had to retreat. Yeah. Um, but Dr. Timothy Minot actually turned this into a field hospital. So it was pretty cool. So where we are is the morgue. The morgue. Look, right above well, us is the OR. Yep. And we're going to investigate up there as well and the rest of the building. Um, so those are the two rooms that are actually have the most activity. Um, people have seen a, a woman here, the apparition of a woman. Um, they've seen a man. There's so many different... Oh, yeah. Our friend Sam worked here for a while. And yeah. He had quite a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. it, it was incredibly active. So then in the early 1800s, um, part of this was used, it was a reverend, I believe, that purchased it, and he used part of it for his residence and part of it for a store. Um, Henry David Thoreau stayed here while he was attending um, college. He actually, um, it was his grandfather bought one of the houses, and he lived here while he went to college. Yeah, I think I'll be um, in their little family area tonight investigating. Yes. Yeah. So it was a pretty cool area. Mm -hmm. um, in the mid-1800s, a young couple purchased it, and they were the ones that connected it and turned it into a small hotel and a boarding house. Um, there were like 20 rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting. It had quite a few uh, famous visitors, John Wayne, Shirley Temple, Jacqueline Kennedy, Franklin Roosevelt. Um, so it's pretty cool, and this was actually originally on Algonquin Indian land. Mm -hmm. Settlers came over and supposedly made a treaty with them to get the land. Um, well, we all know how that goes. Yeah, right? Cool, cool. Um, so it's interesting to see if we have any Native Americans that come through tonight. Um, I hope we get a lot tonight. I know um, Tom and Arlene said this is actually one of the most haunted locations they've done. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just tough when you only hear it for a short period of time. You, you kind of mm -hmm. hope you get something yeah. in that time frame. Yeah. So you know, we'll I'm see. sure when you spend a lot of time in a place, you really yeah. got more apt to get. So we're going to have to come time. back when there's not a snowstorm scheduled the next know. day. I so excited to spend the night. I know. And then we can spend the whole night yeah, in the morning. Instead of running out at 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. So we'll see what we get. Um, we're just really, really excited. Um, we're glad to be back. Yeah. What do you say? Let's do this. Let's do this. So guys, before I show you this clip, I just want to explain. We stopped um, at Dr. Kelly's office at Miss Lizzie's Coffee, um, the original office. Um, just so you kind of know, before we went to Concord, we made a little side stop. So we are back at the house next door to Lizzie's. This is Dr. Kelly's office down in the basement. How cool is this? Look at all these little cabinets where he used to keep his medicine. This is so cool. Look how cute. Look at the little cabinets. It's just like amazing. The fireplace is still here. Can you imagine this was his office and he would see his patients down here? These windows are amazing. Yep. So a little flashback from our other episode where we got to go into the well room. So as I said, this is the house next door to Lizzie's. Um, Mr. Borden's uncle lived here with the wife and three children. 
and she drowned them in the well. But this was downstairs was Dr. Kelly's office. Original. Hey Sue, looking for something to do in EVP. Looking for a battery. Looking for a battery first. And then back down in through here is where the um, the well room is. So the well room is in here. It's pretty dark. You guys probably aren't going to be able to see, but this was the room where the well was. This place is really active. We know Ludwig comes through. He's a little Coco. Checking it out. <laughs> this place is so cool. Amazing, amazing history. This is all original woodwork, guys. All original. Amazing. So these are the three houses linked together. This is the first one. You can see the chimneys for that. Look how gorgeous it is. This place is amazing. Now you see the second chimney. This was the second house. Right here. And then on the end was the third house. They show them what it looks like. The third chimney. Oh, look at this, guys. This is back in the day. Wow. Uh, I guess so the cool. Colonial Inn, 1716 in Concord. I want a picture of that. Wow. This is amazing. Such history. the third house over there. You can see the chimney up there. And check this out. Third house. So cool. Wow, this is amazing. Lunch. We're starting with lunch before we investigate. So stop her. Show my root beer. Colonial root beer. <laughs> How cool is that? Very cool, right? And look at these delicious corn. Mm -hmm. So good. Hello, Sue. <laughs> so lunch looks absolutely amazing. You've got the poutine mm. and fish tacos. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. So so lunch in the Liberty Room. This was actually the um, triage. He used this as his triage center. And he had his little <clears throat> makeshift hospital. Mm, lunch was delicious, fish tacos. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Now we're gonna walk to the old North Bridge. Yeah, we're gonna take a walk to the old North Bridge. So much history here, guys. So here's a picture when the three houses were separated. Cool is that. Then over here, it's an older picture of it. Check out this. The people, 1920s maybe. Cool is that. Here's another older picture of it. Fascinating. So everywhere you look in this town are historical buildings. It's like amazing. What a gorgeous house, guys. Check out this one. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful houses. Oh my lord. Look how beautiful. So this one's empty. We should go look in the window. You know that? So we're walking to the North Bridge where that big battle took place, guys. From the Colonial Inn to the North Bridge. I don't know what that beeping is. I don't know. Love that old red barn back there. Yep. Very cool. Oh, whose house is it? Very cool. 
Oh, this is the, what does it say? Fifield Fay House? Yeah, Fifield Fay, 1825. This one looks empty too. That's so weird. So this is called the Old Mance, built in 1770. And there she is. Gorgeous. We'll go up a little closer maybe later when we get back from the North Bridge. Bridge? It's over there. And it Joseph Holmes that cried out, Will you let them burn the town down? Captain Isaac David Commander of the Acting Company. Well, there is the right field. I have it they formed before people. marching down to fight at the bridge. Crazy. Not to fire until fired first. Then fire as fast as you can. Come at me, British. Come at <laughs> me, you British Hosna. soldiers. <laughs> wow, 39-year-old farmer and furniture maker with a reputation for being an eloquent and fiery patriot was considered by some to be the most dangerous man in Concord. Wow. Give him hell. Yeah. So this was the Buttrick Mansion. The Buttricks had a lot of houses around here. Now it's the visitor center. And then across the way, there's this beautiful yellow house, which was also... Um, owned by the Buttrick family, and he actually marched in that war, that battle. You were fought in that battle. Fought in the battle at the bridge. And one of his the ancestors, bridge. the last to hold that name, actually still works in this building at 90 years of age as Can a volunteer. Can you imagine? She works in the garden. Yep. It's crazy. Wow. So they all formed in that field back there. This is the way they walked to this side of the bridge for the battle. Walked right down here. Oh, the British were holding the bridge. Yep. Can you imagine? <sighs> Must have been fired up, man. Mm -hmm. So the Brown family of Concord came from England. So we have the foundation of their home over there. We'll take a closer look at that. I don't think so. And then his second home was over here where the granite is, where his cellar hole was but he was a successful farmer he had 67 acres wow he lived with abigail and their 10 children and his uncle on the day of the battle he served as captain he led his men to the north bridge through these fields which were his own fields he had his son marching with him while his family watched while his family watched can you even imagine Whew. we'll take a closer look at this foundation so this was his original house that he built. Must have been kind of small for 10 children, but this was it, guys. We're going to do spirit box here, too, to see if he comes through. Fascinating, right? And over here, the granite markers are his, were his second house that he built. So we're going to see if we can contact him. Wait too fast. David and Abigail. You guys around? We just came by to say hello. We're at your own old homestead many years later. We're at your field. That was very brave of you. You and your son and your uncle. Fighting off the British soldiers invading your property. Must have been terrified watching Abigail. Can't even imagine. You guys can come through. We just want to say hi. I'm Dad and that's Sue. Hi. 
your history is just so amazing and wonderful. We just wanted to chat. Anyone there? Anyone around? Oh, I heard a woman. Is that you, Abigail? Abigail? Hello. Hi. Thank you for coming through. We appreciate it. Thank you for everything that you did. We appreciate it. Thank you for standing up to the British. Said something. Mm -hmm. We're in the year 2024. What year are you in? something. I'll have to listen back. Okay. Alright, give you guys a couple more minutes. Thank you for coming through and speaking with us. Thank you for defending the town of Concord. Oh, what he said. How many British were killed? How many militia died? I know it's hard for you to speak. Was this the barn area? A lot of people coming through. Hopefully we can make out when we listen to that. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna let you guys go. Thank you again for coming through. We appreciate it. Bye. Bye, thank you. So we did get some responses. We thanked um, David for what he did. It sounds like he said says grapple, but you guys can decide it's so hard to, to make out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you. Grapple, like big grapple. Yeah, possibly. So we asked what year it was, but this was a while after this lady came through. I don't know what she's saying. At first I thought she said evil, then Eva. I'll let you guys decide. You can hear her. Maybe Eva. I'm hearing an N sound. Neva. Neva. Nevon. I'll let you guys figure it out. This little house is fascinating to me. The bottle sculpture in the front, the bell, the Robin's house. Ah. African American history. Oh, the African American house. Wow. So cool. This farm, 1823, was home to the first free generation of the Robbins family. Oh, it's so special. And their relatives who farmed, worked, went to school, supported anti slavery efforts, and followed their own paths to independence. I feel as though. Oh. I ought to strive to maintain my rights. Wow. And Obama was here. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Let's go take a close look at it. Yeah. This 1823 farmhouse was home to the first free generation. Wow. The Robbins house. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is really cool. It's called the Bottle Tree Project. What do you want to talk about? The bell. Let's do some syrup box. We'll sit on the bench. I wonder where the bell came from. Oh, 
wow. This place is amazing. Try to show you guys inside. Hold on. Anybody home? Anybody home? Yeah. Anyone inside? It's like a little museum. Not very big. Original flooring, as you guys can see. Definitely have to do a spirit box here. Anyone home? The knock back. Show you guys this side. Oh, it has all the ancestry. I think it was just a two little two room house, I believe. This is the second room. Let's see if there's any more around the back. I don't think there is though. Oh, there's a ramp back here, but I think honestly it's just um two rooms. So tiny. Ah. Oh, there's an upstairs though. Okay. This is the side view, guys. A little door over there that goes in, leads in, I guess, to the other room. Or maybe the stairway to the second floor. This is so cool. I'd love to go in this building. So cool. This place looks empty. I guess they're redoing it. Yeah, because there's a portage on there. What does the sign say? No entry. Please use the mudroom door. No entry. Please use the mudroom door. I'll go use the mudroom door. Thank you. There's a t one of those teeny tiny miniature closets as you walk in. So cool. I don't see it. You see anybody up there? Oh, what's that on the second floor? What? Oh, it's a reflection of the tree behind the Oh. Looks like the shape of a person. I see. I just saw it. I saw what you saw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a person. It's cool. Monument in honor of the brave men. Look at how high that is. Get this one. Say faithful unto death. Wow. Look at this place. Monument Square. The big church steeple over there. Well, the church there. And there is where we will investigate. Colonial in. Oh, it's so pretty. The port told it up. It's so waiting for us. So this is yeah. the this is was the like part of the, the row home, right? Yes, this was part of the this was part of the dining room. And as you can see the fireplace. So you have that, and then of course that area, which was another room, and then when we get to that sitting room they call it, which is empty now with the fireplace, they just refinished the floors on that, so that's why there's no furniture in there, which is why they've given us the original tap room. Oh, nice. It probably wasn't part of the Thoreau family, but they wish it was, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they didn't. Right, but, um, this is so cool. Yeah, and then um, of course the American Strobe we're doing the event was the Cooper Shop. What was the Cooper shop? They made barrels. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Those conquered grapes. That was, the yeah, that was grapes. the best thing. Barrels. Everything was stored in barrels. You go to the country yeah. store, hundreds of barrels everywhere. Yeah. Everything was in barrels. Pickle barrels. Yep. Yeah. Pickles, oh, rum, cool. spices, you name it. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, then, uh, well, Cooper. All right. So we're in the morgue. Oh, you got the other camera. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Was that like on? Yeah. Pretty yeah. bright. It's nice and bright. Got the SLS. What Wrench. did it say? Wrench and what else? Cards knee. Oh, did you take somebody's knee off with a wrench? Oh, so who's lying in bed? Yep. Did you see that? Yep. Who's lying in the bed? Oh, yeah, you can lay down. It's okay. It's fine. We're not using the bed right now. Nice job. No, no, no. Think oh, that could have been the table. Yeah. But the other thing looked like somebody you. was laying on the bed. It looked just like they were chilling. It did. That's not the same as the first thing. Can you go done. back and lay on the bed? Gold. You see that, people? <laughs> Top of the line right here. 
Alright, let's walk around with night vision. Did the doctor used to keep a lot of um, bodies in here? Were there a lot of bodies in here at one time? Dr. Mignot? Am I saying your name right? Dr. Mignot? Hmm? I wonder what all these things did. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, I think it's recording a video. Yep, save. I just saved it. So now we know how to do a video. And then if you want to just screenshot something, you hit the camera. Mm-hmm. I don't know about nice. painting what that does. Hmm. See, it's not mapping out anything anymore. Oh, Stop. There I know, it stopped. It, it was stopped. laying on the bed it and it stopped. We had one visitor in the morgue. Visitor. Yeah, Massachusetts now. Visitor. Visitor. <laughs> visitor. It's a visitor. <laughs> there you go. Visitor. <laughs> Hi. Are you just a bedpost? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. It's just a bedpost. All right, guys, so I went out to have a smoke, and I was looking in the window in the Thoreau room, and the chandelier was swinging like crazy. There was no one upstairs. I'm going to try to play it for you guys. <clears throat> hope you can see it. I got a dirty window or something. That's crazy. Deb, I want your copy. My God, I, I so, of course, we went in there for us to investigate. This place is so quiet now. It's crazy. So we had lunch. I'm going to walk to the Thoreau room because where do you guys see the video of the chandelier? Shake, it was shaking in there. It was crazy. So we're going to head back just to see. Um, show you guys. What did it say? Alien. Alien. Oh, we look like aliens? All right, now you can put the light on, so it's dark in here. Perfect. So this room, this chandelier, we were outside having a smoke. This chandelier was shaking like Crazy, and there's no one upstairs. Can you shake that chandelier again? I think our viewers would like to see it. That would be amazing. We'll sit for a little bit, and then we'll see if you'll see if you'll do that for us. Sue has the SLS. Have you seen any figures on there yet, Sue? No, just you. Just me. I wish that chandelier would shake again. That was crazy. I'm just doing EVP in here. This was part of um, the Rose House. Yeah. The little living room area. What did it say? Figure. Figure. So we're going to do an EVP session. Answer. What's that flash of light I just saw? I don't know. I thought you did that. No. It wasn't me. Was it the lights from the road, maybe? Maybe. Let's do an EVP. Okay. Is it on? Not oh, yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. EBP 
session in the Thoreau room at the Colonial Inn. Another flash of light. Did you see that? Yeah, but it's not coming from the cars. Oh, maybe the whole car did just drive by. It could have been a flash of light when he was down there. I don't know. It's weird. So we were standing on the porch before. And uh, when we looked in, we saw Shane Boyce on England. Are you oh, from England? Come from Are you England? The British from England? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think um husband and wife moved here from England. That might have opened up the inn. They have all the British soldiers with them in. I know. And this was a field hospital that took Oh that's side. true. I was forgot it was a field hospital. No, you. They said the doctor took him both sides. So you were from England, did you die here? So sorry for you. What part of England can you tell me? Okay. Can you tell me who was shaking that shame for me before? You can come over and talk to us. If you stand over here, we can hear you better. We have things in our hands that help us to hear you, but nothing that's going to hurt you. You can speak right into my red light. Tell us what happened while you were here. We'd love to hear your stories. Strip. This thing? Strip. All right, we're gonna listen back, okay? So we asked who um, was swinging the chandelier. Henry Thoreau? Uh -huh. We just got Henry on the, um, mm -hmm. the obelisk. It was Henry Thoreau, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyways, we caught an EVP. Sue said who, you know, who was swinging the chandelier, and you hear him. And then on the SLS, And then it we got says Henry. 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 Pretty amazing. <laughs> so we're still in the Thoreau room and listening back to the EVP and we were talking about how the doctor um, took him both sides and then a woman goes, okay, you'll hear her. So that was pretty cool. We came back to the tavern room to have some activity in here. This was my room that I investigated. Yeah, come on in. Have a seat at the bar. Seeing anybody? This said Sam after you said Sam. Oh, you remember Sam? Do you miss him? Do you miss Sam? I'll tell him you were asking for him. Okay? I'll let him know. Do you want to do can here? Yeah. Okay. This is the original part of the tower. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the, this is the original part of the house. It's pretty cool. Design. Design. I like the design. Who designed it? Uh oh, I thought like you just got somebody. Huh? Maybe not. I thought you just got a figure on there. I did, but it's the post. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn that this way so I can see it. 
That's good. And I don't have the bar anymore. Though. I just That's didn't good. want the point in the post because it keeps but, mapping oh, it out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It keeps mapping the post out. Oh. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. EVP session here in the tavern. Let's begin to my red light. It's just us now. It's nice and quiet. Were you asking for Sam? Do you have a message for him? We're going to talk to him this week. we an interview. I like the tavern. That's beautiful. You can show yourself too. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, it's never said three words. Listen, it said three words to me before in the other room, too. I can't remember what really? three words can't, it was. Why can't you show yourself to us? She said, can't do that. Well, do you just not have the energy, or you don't know how? Or you're not allowed to. Which is it? Yeah, which is it? Because, you know, we won't tell anybody if you do. No, we won't say anything. We'd love to see you. If you go in front of this camera thing that Sue has in her hand, we'll be able to see you in your beautiful dresses. We won't tell anybody. We won't get in trouble. I'm going to listen back. Okay. Let's see if we hear anything. So I swear I did not leave the light on in that bathroom. Sue's gonna go check. Anybody's in there? I'm like freaking out right now. All right, ready? Go. Sounds like the water's running. That's what I said. It sounds like the water's fucking running in. Criminal. Oh, <gasps> it says what? criminal. <gasps> I said criminal. <laughs> Oh, the camera, you opened it. I'm too scared. <laughs> Three. Three. You sure it's just not the fan running in there? Maybe. Go see. <laughs> All right, we'll do it together. Hold on. <sighs> Hold on one second. Hold on. Um, where's my vape? Deb. I had it. You don't need oh, it's your... right here. Well, no, I need a weapon. You vape? Well, it's heavy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll blow smoke at you. <laughs> no one in here. Let's get the whole crap out of me. Who was in our bathroom? This is a crazy place. Swinging chandeliers, lights turning on. That is crazier than the built one. Holy cannolis, Joe. That skin, the living daylights on me. <laughs> yeah, because it did sound like water running. All right. Dousing rods in the morgue. So we have the morgue room at the colonial end. May I use these rods? I know they're Debs. May I use them? Thank you. Straighten out, please. Is there anybody in this room with us? Maybe. Did you die in this room? Where was your body? And what is the bathroom today? Were there a lot of bodies in here?
bathroom's creepy. Mm-hmm. Did you turn the light on in the bathroom? Was that you? When we left? Was that you that did that? I know I shut it off. Yep. Are you a female? Are you a male? We gotta be one or the other. Getting on some wishy washy results. Yeah. Who are we speaking to? Is this a man? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, you scared us half to death. Do you think that's funny? Apparently so. Weak answers. Hmm. Are there any other spirits here? Can you come through for us, please? Do you remember Sam, who worked in the lobby? I was just going to say that. Yeah. He's a friend of ours. Do you miss Sam? Look at this. It's like a, a maybe. Are you saying maybe? Maybe you miss Sam? You don't want to admit that you miss him? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Weird. Mm-hmm. Where were most of the bodies kept in this one? Not pointing to the same area as last time? Mm. Over there. To be by the bathroom so creepy. Where are you right now? Are you behind my friend there? Oh, that was a Ooh. big yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Well, we're gonna be leaving shortly. Is that okay if we don't spend the night in this room? You don't really care. <laughs> He's indifferent. Well, apparently. <laughs> So odd. Can I say something? I'm going to put these down. Hmm. I'm just curious. If mine will behave the same way. Hmm. Experiment, guys. Okay. Are there... Many spirits in this room. Yes. Where were the bodies kept? Same spot. Same spot. Okay. Yeah. Are you a male? Yes. Are there any females in this room? No. Mm -mm. So most of the loss of life was male? Mm hmm. Did you die in this building? No. Did you... Did you die by the bridge? No. Did you die on the road to the bridge? Okay. Where are you standing? Over by me. Over by Deb. Behind my friend Deb. Say to you again, Deb and I are going to be leaving. Do you care? Look at this. Pretty Same much consistent. Response. Wow, that's crazy. Like, Look at that. I don't really care. Very cool. Weird with the shaking back and forth of the rocks. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, thank you for speaking to me. Thank you. So tonight we have room. 14, which is apparently the, the newest. newest haunt. <laughs> it's the newest in. I guess a man passed away. They have memorials. And his name 
kept coming up on the wall and they had to repaint it and it kept coming back. And now the staff's afraid to come in this room, but Is it's the man a here with us now? Cute little room. If you're there, can you light that up again? On the corner of the table? Hmm? Here's a little Coco. It's the bathroom. Not bad. Oh, I don't have my bells in on. Where is it? But it's a cool little room. Anybody here with us? Not bad. Which wall did the name keep appearing on? Oh, it just keeps pointing right over there towards the door. Behind the bed, maybe? Behind Sue? Right there. We'll have to find out which Where wall. Where was the name on the wall? I keep pointing to the same same spot twice. Like made a lamp area, I guess. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can you make your name appear again? I don't see anything on the wall. Can you make your name appear? We'd love to see your name again and communicate with you. I think it's great that you were able to do that. Are you here with us now? Where are you? Right next to me. Where's the dog? Right That's next right. to me. Yep. Somebody in the hallway? Yep. <laughs> where was your name on the wall? Consistent. Right where it was. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it was on this wall. We'll have to find out. Thank you for speaking to me. That's pretty cool. Be a little Coco. I'll show you guys the haunted bathroom. I mean, it's just the bathroom, but it's wicked haunted. They would tell us to shut the door. Like they didn't want the shower door open. Um, it's Coco's little stroller. But yeah, it's just a regular bathroom. But somebody opened the shower. They said, um, shut it, right? That was one of the things that they said. Um, one of the girls came out screaming, flung herself on the bed, scared Coco half to death because she heard a noise in there. And then another lady went in and um, got an EVP. She said, can you turn the REM pod on? And he goes, what did he say? He said something crazy like... Um, she jumped up or something like that. It was oh, an EVP we that we caught. The, the spirit, you know, to, you know, make, let themselves be known in the bathroom. And so they said she jumped. Like she they jumped. Didn't want to scare anybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was an EVP. That was really clear as well. Um, yeah, I was surprised with all the people in here. Sometimes with that many people, you don't get a lot of stuff. But we really did. Like it was amazing. So the haunted bathroom, we were having the guests go in and do EVP, and they asked a guy's name, and it sounds like he said, I told you, Joshua. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it. I'll try to get closer so you can hear it. I'll give you a couple more minutes. I'll give you a So I really hope you guys took care of that. Okay, guys. Haunted bathroom again. And we sent another set of guests in. And she was asking the spirit to light the REM pod. And he goes, she jumped. Because the girl that was in there before jumped out of the room. So he didn't want to scare anybody else. So I'm going to play it. I hope you can hear it. She jumped. So that was pretty cool. It's like, I'm not scaring anybody else. That was a pretty crazy reaction. <laughs> How are you? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you? All good and you? Good. Have a nice good day. day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
take a picture from the back. Let's see. He's calling the troops. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh my god. They're right there. Here they come, guys. Can you see them? Probably can't see them, but they're coming. They're going to come right by us. Coming closer. Got their weapons. I love it. Comes the militia again. Comes the militia. Here they come. Nice. I love those flute things. Pike. Pike and drums. Is that what it is? Yeah. Go the other side I'm not a history person. Like <laughs> Even the little ones are ready to defend them. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. place in this town are amazing. Love it. Um, this was actually our second time we came back. I had all the footage from last time, but I didn't put it up and I knew we were coming back. So I said, I'll just make one big episode. Um, we're in a smaller room this time on the third floor, which has, it's been, it was crazy active last night because we did dining in the dead. Morgue, though, Way more than the morgue. That, I showed you guys on film, the haunted bathroom. It was crazy, the stuff we were getting. And then, Did you really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had to see the haunted bathroom. But, um, yeah, most of the activity guys seem to be in the bathroom. Which, it's a bathroom today, but um, we asked because we had gotten a spirit of a little boy mm -hmm. saying Billy. he was sick. Um, so this actually was a hospital at one point, and the sick were brought up here. So what is now a bathroom could have just been where they... Like a sick room. People. Yeah. yeah. Because he died young, um, we found out there were three spirits in this room. Two males, I think there might have been a female. We got a ton of EVP. Um, knocks in the bathroom. Um, this had to have been a sick room because this room just had so much activity. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. We didn't film that for you guys because we had a room full of people because it was an event and kept getting different groups coming up. So. Um, I'll try to isolate some of the EVPs and play them for you, but they were um, pretty amazing. Mm. Um, 
So yeah, this town is is just, I want to come back, I want to do more. I mean, I feel like even when we were at the North Bridge, we definitely got some spirit coming through. Um, they're just all over this town. And today's the anniversary, guys, of the shot That's bird around right. the world. So we should go back to the North Bridge and check it yeah, out. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Mm. Um, and maybe get some more footage over there too, mm -hmm. which would be great. But yeah, we just wanted to close this out for you guys. We never even did a closing the last time we came. It's just been, Sue and I have been crazy busy. Well, we wanted to throw the footage in of the uh, reenactments, yeah. but guess what? They ended up doing it instead of on the anniversary today. Yeah. They did it Monday instead. Yeah, so. We missed it. Um, but all in all, this is a great, um, great building, great town. Um, we brought Coco for his little mini vacay. He did a great job. He made friends, so he was allowed in the dining room. <laughs> he, mm -hmm. he did really well with all those people. I was surprised. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have some more stuff coming up for you guys. The weather's getting nicer, so we should be able to get out um, more, which will be great. Um, what do you think of anything else? I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's been a great trip. It's it, both trips were really really fun. Um, Super hot in this room right now. That's all I can think. Of. Yeah, this room is roasting. That's the only bad piece about this room. It is so hot up here. Um, oh, we did meet um, this cool guy at the North Bridge. Um, I didn't film it. I was so sad. But he, this older gentleman, and he's like, "Oh, where are you guys from?" And he's like, "Well." All the tourists that, that come here, I sing for them in their language. He's like, pick a language so or pick a country. Sue so chose Ireland, and he sang us Danny Boy right there in the park. It was beautiful. I guess he was an interpreter or something. Yeah, he knew job. like 50 languages or something. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, man. That was really cool. So the people around here are very friendly. It's a very historic town. It's a very friendly town. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we really... Um, found some great places. We have to come back here and do some more. Yeah. I think there's so many places we haven't seen. And, and if you ever get the chance, guys, come up here. Check yeah, it come check it out. Concord, Mass. Um, it, it's just an, it's an amazing place. It really is. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Be sure to share the love. Bye. Sorry guys.